Okay. So, uh, good morning to all. I Rajni Singh, Assistant Professor, Department of Information and Technology. I welcome today's speaker, Mr. Rohit Maurya, Director of Engineering, Dr. Gaurav Sinha Sir, Deputy Director of Engineering, Dr. Manoj Rana Sir, and IIC President, Dr. Sanjay Pachauri Sir, and HOD IT, Dr. Mahindra Sharma Sir, and all the viewers. So before proceeding further, I would like to give a brief introduction about today's speaker, Mr. Rohit Maurya. So he is currently working as an assistant professor in Department of Civil Engineering uh, at Hindustan College of Science and Technology, Mathura. He has completed his post-graduation with honors in geotechnical -techni and geo-environment engineering from Kamla Nehru Institute of Technology, Sultanpur, uh, in 2016. Since then, he has been engaged in teaching and research work. He has the membership of various national and international reputed academic authorities in engineering and technology like MIET, AMIE, IAENG, and he is an also active member of NMS, Nano Molecular Society. He also engaged in social awareness program and currently he is working on two self-finance research projects as your reinforcement uh, sesame resistant material and use of carbon nanoparticle mixed bed. So now I request to Rohit sir to please start the session. Rohit sir, please start the session. Okay. Thank you, Rosni ma'am. And uh, I've been a, uh, really privileged to be here to present such a great uh, topic, which is innovators and uh, entrepreneurs. So thank you for such a uh, kind mentorship session organizing by IIMT group of colleges. And uh, so I go through the presentation and start uh, what is needed to be discussed. So before starting, uh, it, it is necessary to understand what uh, my audience is. So I think uh, before Starting, there is one quote, one famous quote as uh, given by, you all know his name, Steve Jobs. And his quote is, innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. We all know that what innovation and what innovators are doing in centuries. <laughs> so before starting, let's just get to the audience. So I think uh, presentation audience could be because it is... Uh, you know that it is uh, live on YouTube. So maybe variety of uh, audience should be there as students, teachers, researchers like PhD, professors, readers, academicians of different kinds and the normal people, we know that. So what are they have in common? I think the first is starting uh, six uh, categories mainly focuses on the as a learners have a curiosity to find new things and to execute and practice it to improve the current scenario of technology and engineering and science. But the normal people are, what they are doing, they're concerned with the outcomes. They are the user of the outcomes of these we are doing as academicians, as a reader, as a researcher, as a students. But because we are focused here as a presentation, to be for prime as a students. So I think uh, I more focus on the student perspective. So primarily as an audience for students, I think I cover, my presentations cover all of the different branches, but here I think it is more focused on the IT sector. So I will discuss all of the aspects of the nature of the innovators and the entrepreneurships. Okay, so these are a variety of the students. I will uh, focus on this presentation. So what is important for the student? First question arises, what is important for us as a student? So there are many things, but before that you have to think about it. All of you first have to think about it. What is important for us? If I consider myself as a student, what is more important for me? Just give yourself one minute right now, because you have the whole time as a student, four years if you have First year, you have whole three years to think about it, what is important for you as a student. So if you just go through your 
conscious mind and try to find out what is important for you you may find various questions various points what is it and how it is something important for you so here are a few things that i noted down for you that comes to your mind let's just see you think that for you what is extremely important is is study what is in symbols some of you may my may find it as an important scenario for you that you have to study what is in syllabus next because you want to study because you your parents wanted wants it maybe this is the second case for you next is complete the course with good, good grades most of the students wants it like uh, just i want have to have a uh, good grades that's all for me maybe the first ranking in the class maybe first ranking in the university maybe first ranking in the whole uh, btech or the bachelor's degree or maybe you just want to uh, get a degree maybe that's a scenario for you to just uh, get get a degree maybe get a good placement in a good company that is also for you important okay and the last one is study to pass the competition to and to get a government job that is essentially most important that looks in your perspective so these are the points maybe that arises in your mind i think if you try to give your some time to you you, you may find these are the questions for you important okay but exactly what is important for you as a student as this picture suggests you do what this this little kid are doing if you try to give a little thought about it this is the only one thing that every student should have that is curiosity that is curiosity there is curiosity is the main seed of any invention seed of any innovation to make you a innovator okay so every one every one of you as a student should have this seed of innovation to lead you to the innovator which is curiosity now first question comes to your mind whenever you already know that what is the topic of this particular presentation which is innovators and entrepreneurship so now these are the question you should ask to yourself before the presentation started so questions are who is innovators first question next next one who is entrepreneurs this is the second question that arises in your mind then why are both are the impact important for you why innovators and why entrepreneurs are important for you to understand to study now next it why are they both needed for the human society because we are the we are the human society of nature now what is more relevant to the students because i am a student in your perspective i am a student so why it is important for me as a student and next it does innovator and entrepreneur are born or made this is another case for you does innovators and entrepreneurs are made or born if they are born they never been made if they are made then every one of you can be a entrepreneur and a innovator so this is this is also an important question now how can be an innovator or a entrepreneur how you can be an innovator and entrepreneur this is the one question that's why you are seeing this presentation and last one what is left to be innovate this is the most fundamental because it is important for you to know what is left to be innovated because a lot of the information that's already happened in the past in the history of human kind so these are the questions that should arise in your mind before uh, uh, sitting in your pc or the or you want to be see the presentation okay and what is entrepreneurship needed to be as a in innovator that's the last question now go to the presentation content so let's just go to the presentation rather than just skipping all the things now this is a first thing that started from me before giving you any hint about the innovation innovator entrepreneur or entrepreneurship so this is i am giving you a little example of me so this is me in the morning today this is my more photograph 
in the morning today and this is one hour later okay this is in the morning before this is one hour later today this is the photographs of today so there is a difference between both of the photographs you see slight changes that my beard is little trim and how can i do that obviously with the trimmer so how this trimmer make this changes from before and after because we have a invention of trimmer we have so how this trimmer came to the existence this is a little example that's that as is from me there is a lot of example i can take any example from daily life to give you hint about innovation and in entrepreneurship but this is the simplest i can get from you for you so this trimmer how this is started so let's just get to the innovation invention innovator and entrepreneur these are all interlinked but this session is about the innovation and entrepreneur so before that i must said where is the trimmer how it is started all of you may uh, wonder there is a little thing inside the trimmer there is a motor all of you know how of that motor and motor is is a key point for the trimmer but as you can see in the figure there is a heavy motor this is the first motor that's make, that's been made for the every kind of the machinery in the human kind we can go back to before the mute motor like the uh, the magnetism electromagnetism and electromagnetic motor we all have that that is a earlier time we can go any time before but uh, right now we focus on starting from a motor what happen after that we have a motor so after that we comprise it after that we comprise it in a miniature form how can this big motor can be comprised in a smallest form so we can use in a different purposes so firstly we have what we did we comprise this bigger model of motor into a smaller part so we can use in different scenarios so after that what happened we use it in a clipper a type of clipper clipper which have a miniature motor in it and this is the first and original version of photograph patented in 1990 which is done by leoville leoville is the first person who is merged mechanical clipper <coughs> sorry with the motor and combining both of these he has made the first trimmer in 1919 this is the whole scenario how this whole thing work now what is it in here as the innovation what is invention here and who is the innovator and how it comes to be as a entrepreneur so i want to ask you uh rather than just quoting all of the things but right now i am a youtube so it is not in, uh, not happen so i just uh, explain it so the motor is the force motor as you can see let's uh, i have a little laser pointer so I, as you can see the first picture of a motor is a invention or you can say a innovation there is a little difference between them innovation and invention there is a difference between them i will explain later so this motor this first motor is a innovation this first motor is a innovation in its primary or abstract form and this in miniature version of this bigger model of motor is a invention so you can easily comprehend between those first motor is a innovation and the miniature version of this motor is the invention and after merging it with the mechanical clipper mechanical clipper you all saw that that works from the clenching of the hand and it cuts hair that's mechanical hair because we are using mechanical energy in it but when you are using this electromagnetic motor in it it's become a trimmer the modern trimmer okay so after merging mechanical clipper to this 
electromagnetic motor, the initial electromagnetic motor, and then comes the first tremor in the human history. That's done by Leo wave. Okay, so this uh, mo electromagnetic motor uh, uh, adjusted clipper is also an invention. It is not an innovation. It is invention, which is done by Leo wave. Now, what about Who is a innovator in it? So we know that Leo Well did that. So he he could be the innovator because he made it. We know the invention, we know the innovation, and we also know the inventor. Now who is the innovator? Sorry, entrepreneur. And how can be a, a one can be an entrepreneur? So later, when he did that, and he gave it to a local barbers when he first made this clipper and he gave it to a local barber to use it in their purpose for cutting hair and later on it is get it's get famous all the local barbers are needed this type of clipper because it's easy to handle it and after that Liu will just make a production of it in different different versions in different different ranges and different different motors. So after that, he make a business out of it. He started a business and become a first entrepreneur for this particular clipper. So I think this particular slide, which is give you a little hint about the what is innovation, what is invention, what is innovator, and what is entrepreneur, because. If this Leo Whale did not started his business of this clipper, then he could not be the entrepreneur. He just be as a innovator, but he started the business. That's why he be known as a entrepreneur. Now, just let go to it. Let's talk about the current issue. I just want to ask you, what is the current issue that been uh, surrounded with the whole world? We all know that uh, what it is. What it is, maybe you can comment on the YouTube. I can see afterward. What is the current issue? And then first came, came into your mind, what is COVID-19? You all know that COVID-19 is the current issue of that's been surrounded with the whole world. And why I'm discussing it as in the topic of innovator and entrepreneurship. Because we know that medical research is needed for this purpose to tackle out the COVID-19. And for that medical research, we have to have what? Medical facility, medical equipments and tools, biotechnology, chemical engineering, medical technology. These all are to be needed for medical research. And why I'm telling you this? Because these all are only being done by innovation because innovator cannot be an innovator until it did have a innovation because until they did not have any innovation they are not be an innovator so we all have to have a little innovation within us for humankind to tackle out some problem because covid 19 is a big problem for us okay so this is a just little scenario about the current issue because this can relate to you what is why is innovation is so important for us now innovation and innovative there is a little difference between as uh, i earlier uh, explained you to for any innovation you have these all in you you have a vision you have to have a creativity in it you need a little inspiration for it and for that, you need to have solution for it, intelligence for it, and idea to generate a particular concept for an innovation. So this is a starting point for any innovation. Until you have these, you cannot be lead through innovation. Okay. Now, what about the innovator? As you can, you see, uh, as you can see in the figure, there's two things within us. One is heart and mind. 
why I choose these? We have lots of things into us, internal organs, but why I choose these only? Because for any innovation, only mind cannot help you. Only mind cannot help you. As you can see in the previous figure, what it is, vision, creativity, inspiration, after that solution, intelligence and idea. The first three things, vision, creativity and inspiration are, comes as a concept of a heart. As you can see in the figure, I draw uh, this figure shows a little heart, but this heart is a conceptualized version of the of, of, of our mind. This is a concept version, version of our mind because any type of emotion, inspiration, a feeling, it comes from a mind, but it falls on the heart. Okay, that's why I show you her. But why it is important? Because it important for us to be a inspiration for anyone or for anyone's inspiration to be us. Okay, so that's why heart is also important because we need to have any hope. We need to have any trust on the innovation, trust on our idea, hope for our idea. Until you have that, you cannot be an innovator. Without just by having intelligence, you cannot be into it. You have to have any hope. You have to have any trust for it, a vision for it. Then you have, then you can create any innovation. You, you want to be an innovator. So what are the steps for innovation? Let's discuss the steps. How can and one can to follow these steps to be an innovator? To so first things come to a mind. You need to have a curiosity or you need to have a problem or you need to have a need for anything or you need to have a scarcity. Why is that? We can understand the curiosity, but what is the problem? There is a lot of problems in the human society, human existence since it started. Like for food, I can discuss in later slide, so I can leave it as it is. Okay, this is a one by one step process. We have these four for to be an innovator starting, then thinking about it, what can be done? We have to have a brainstorming inside our mind to find out what is the main reason for the purpose of these have to be in, in surrounded with us. Next stop, uh, stop is study observation and collect data. Until you did that, you cannot make that particular knowledge about intelligence about in your mind to solve things. Next, and apply a practical knowledge into it. In the stored information, collected information, until you add a practical approach of the knowledge of nature. You cannot be an innovator because it needed to be, because anything you innovate, use in the nature by us with interaction with the nature. Okay, next one is make a novel concept out of it. It has to be a novel concept. If you innovate something that's already, already been done or innovated in the past, then it cannot be an innovation because innovation has to have a novelty in it. Novelty means a new concept, something new that's not, no, uh, never been happened in the past. Next up is plan or draft to construct a prototype. So after making the novel concept, you have to have plan it by making notes, making diagrams and graphs and make a prototype out of it. This is a next step. Now execute it and test the invention. So whatever you made a prototype, test it. What is the purpose of your information, uh, uh, invention and test it accordingly and check it whether it is working or not. Okay. Now next is if it is working as you expected, what this innovation, uh, innovation is needed to be, then you have a innovation. And whenever you innovate something, you become an innovator. So this is the whole step-by-step -step process. How can you be a innovator? I discuss it later one by one. Okay. So next is innovation. There's a little definition of it. 
and after that what is needed to be a uh, what parameters what components what uh, what uh, uh, keywords to be known for it to be an innovation so as you can see in this figure there's a lot of words into it juggles of words you can pick any word but any single word cannot help you to be an innovator you have to have a chunk of words to be in you working as a existing uh, function of your mind like inspiration technology idea experiment research improvement development analysis concept invention society decision prototype all these are included to you be a innovator to make a invention so there is a little definition innovation is a broader aspect of humankind which enables to over mind to comprehend something new from the existence from nature there is a little uh, de definition that you can find anywhere now innovation cut as i discussed all of these things now the world comes innovation and invention as i earlier already discussed with you what is innovation and invention but one uh, one more one more time i can discuss it how innovation and invention are differentiated with each other so you all know that what is it this is a smartphone you can say mobile and what it is if i have one to one interaction with all of you i can ask one of you what it is and you can comment please if you are watching in the youtube please comment on the comment section if you have any chance what it is on left side of the picture so you know all can guess at least you can guess because one side is the mobile phone smartphone so either is also be a phone some kind of phone phone so it is a phone it is a first phone you all know that it is a first phone that you can all reminded which is uh, which is first telephone so at the starting at the beginning whenever this invention this uh, this device is made this device is noted be as a innovation not as invention left side of the picture this telephone is a innovation this is because this is the first of its kind because there's a novel concept in it there is nothing as this device like before that is why it's called as innovation okay but after that it has a modification you all know the evolution of this technology how this telephone modified and modified and modified comes to the mobile phone and that mobile phone later transformed into smartphone as you can see in the right figure so this transformation gives as a in invention not a innovation we already have this technology to communicate with longer distance we already developed this technology but how to improve it the improved version gives you a invention okay the improved version gives you invention that this smartphone is a invention of this telephone's innovation so now you have a little uh, clarity in your mind how these all two of these are differentiated now curiosity to innovation we know that curiosity is the prime novel thing to any person or any students to have in your mind to be a innovator to be a make a invention so first you have a curiosity then you have a creativity this is a two simplest not the whole i'm not saying this is a whole thing into it this is a simplest version of any innovation because in the early era if you go in the stone age in the iron age you have innovation at that time also i will discuss in later slide i give you a hint only these two things simplest thing give you a innovation you don't need all of the junk that i discussed but if you include all that junk you have the innovation that is revolutionary but only these curiosity and creativity it will also give you a because it happened in the past how i will discuss it this give you innovation now why we need innovation there has to be a 
particular purpose for human for to be a uh, innovate something so let's just see the figure yeah you are right this is a stone age a figure a conceptual figure of a stone age version of human kind so you can see in the figure that there is a vast uh, uh, variety of uh, non technological thing because we have only fire you can say what is fire fire is not a innovation i can discuss it with you if i get chance what is fire i'll discuss in the later side what is innovation what is discovery although i give you the answer okay so as you can see in the figure you have nothing you have nothing proper to eat nothing proper to wear nothing proper to uh, work you have nothing proper to transport nothing happened to to live lived you have no proper things to be you called as a human but you are still as a human you are going through it all those stages of human kind okay now later photo that will give you a little hint what is changed since then so this is a modern house and you can see all of these things are changed in this particular image you can find enormous amount of innovation that happened innovation invention discoveries all of our these things are in this figure in these two figures but it needs to be a proper eye to see what it is innovation and what is invention and what are the discoveries in this change of picture so late in this a lot of the technologies are developed after it okay so this will give you a little hint why we need innovation why we need innovation because until you have a innovation or discoveries or invention you cannot change this amount of figure in our living standards of the human kind until you have that okay so this is a little hint about you now what else then comes the question comes what else next is construction this is what else later we construct out of what we construct out of clay we construct out of the uh i don't know we construct out the uh, different uh, variety of vegetations okay now what about now how can we construct today you all know that you all all see uh, or saw how construction goes around you all of the uh, uh, that is surrounded by the biggest machinery surrounded and the biggest structures that exist on the human history you all heard of the burj khalifa and the uh, wonders of the uh, of our human society you all heard that all see that how that happened until you have a proper technology proper invention that based on it you cannot achieve that so construction is also the another part of these particular changes how that happened until we have innovation communication so in the early era in the stone age we communicated with these figures as you can see in it there is a lot of uh, small small figures into it and these small figures leads to be a communicate to each other how can we note it down in the stone age that that's what happened with us and later on the next people can understand what is it there is a way of communication how they communicated there is another way of communication that's happened in the in the egyptian society and what's happened now we have a internet we have world wide web we have telephones we have lot of the application for the communication so that's what happened that's what changed since then okay so this is the reason why innovation is needed if we talk about the transportation in early stages how we transported with walking 
with use of the horses and animals and with use of the wood wooden carts or wood carts so these are the early stages of transportation but what happened after innovation and innovation we have high speed trains we have cars we have metro we have aeroplanes we have buses all of these things so that's what happened when we innovate when we invent after innovation of innovations so why we need innovation we discuss why we need but still there is lot of points come after all why we need we already see that what is the change but what is the components that change leads to be a innovation what is a smaller part of the change that we can discuss and we can innovate particular point of it first thing comes in a mind betterment of human life in all of the figures that you saw shown in the earlier slides you easily give you a little hint that is a betterment in the society of human kind this is the point, first point that's what needed to be an innovation that's why we need to simplify things okay betterment of life next is improvement we need a improvement in our works in our culture in our workings all of the aspects we need a improvement that's why we need a innovation because in the first slide where i uh, show you the uh, trimmer there is a earlier version of trimmer they and there is a present how trimmers are being uh, made manufactured there is a vast difference in first trimmer and the present trimmer vast difference so that is what improvement is that's why we need a invention later in later invention how can we improve something advancement there is a difference between improvement and advancement advancement when, when we include one or more aspects out of it like if we make our trimmer ai based or sound control based or any mind control based then it is a advancement not improvement okay so we include these aspects into a trimmer or any machine this is i'm just giving you example of a trimmer you can have any kind of machinery and any kind of electronic device any kind of a thing and you can add any rational improvement into it then it's called as advancement sustainability because this is the most important for our human society nowadays sustainability sustainability is also included we done all of the technologies and that technology is somehow been uh, utilizing our in simplifying our human life but also been changing the environment affecting the environment that's why we need a technology anyhow that will not affect the environment so we need to have a little more invention or innovation into technologies so we can make machinery and equipments that cannot affect the environment so this is also a need of invention next is safety and security this is also for you iv students safety and security for data safety and security for human safety and security for anything these all are the aspects for safety and security okay so as you can see in the figure there is a camera and it's a lock these are usually based on the data where data comes from the visual part of it and and, uh, and the and the literature part of it then the better living so how can we made as we can see in the previous slides the betterment of life how can you better things that surrounded with you communication transport this also be discussed ki how you can communicate how you can better the communication how can improve the transportation these all comes into your innovation you you know that traffic nowadays in the metropolitan cities you know what is the uh, and the traffic in the communication wavelengths there is a lot of as you can uh, see or sound over there is a lot of information are regularly transforming around you around you and around the environment so there is a little interference between you already 
no i think no uh, no that is a lot of interference how can you improve that thing until you make something new something novel so these interference can be tackled communication can be improved far more than you expect that is what we need for the innovation now next is better medical facility as i discussed in the slide the present scenario of covid 9 we need the better medical facility and that's also be have a lot of innovation needed we require a lot of innovation for betterment of the medical facility now next is how innovation happened if we look at the past how innovation happened what humans did in the past so that innovation happened so first thing as i uh, discuss in the list like first thing we want to simplify things we want to simplify things like from the starting in the early stone age or iron age we use tools from the rocks we use tools from the iron but later on how that converts from the electronic tools electronic devices so what we did sorry so what we did we simplify the work we have earlier stage a telephone but telephone did not give us proper amount of facilities to transform or to transfer the inf uh, information one side to the other side so what we did we simplified it in a smartphone smart com communication and that's why we that's how we are simplifying the whole process how can human simplify the work early stage we have a mechanical equipment now we have a automation for the mechanical engineers okay so what we did we simplified the work okay and the simplification of work from the mechanical uh, equipments to the automation we also have a accuracy there's a lot of uh, advantage and disadvantage but there's a there's a little pin point thing is we are simplifying work that is how innovation are happened manufacture something in the earlier stage we want to make something then nowadays we can make a easier form or a technological form of it we can make anything and in no in a very small uh, small amount of time we can make junk of it junk out of it so that is that's what happened from the human history to solve a problem there is a lot of problem problem is one of the most important things to be us as a human to innovate something okay so there are a lot of problems in the nature in the human society or human living which needs to be a tackle down that's why we need a innovation transport as i discussed we need a better and better transport system we started with the bullock cart and before that we started walking around on the ground so there is a vast evolution of the transportation system so there is a transportation also need, need to improve and how innovation happened to communicate we also discussed communication was also improving on how it is need to be innovated see far and clear there is a lot more technologies since past we have now to see far and beyond beyond our universe we can see beyond our solar system beyond our galaxy lot more things so how that happen because we innovate such things to store there is a lot more storage facilities in around the world you can ever think of there is lot more technologies involved nowadays you can not even now exist to think how that work but now they are existing because there are lot of things that human need to be stored for their purpose to preserve thing there is lot more thing we have to preserve we have to preserve food we have to preserve data lot more thing we have to preserve uh, 
uh, DNA, lot of biomedical things and the chemical and a lot more things, resources. There's a lot more things you have to preserve for uh, human application. So we also need have application of technologies and innovation for to do it. To entertain. Entertainment is also a part of our human society. So entertainment is also needed to be a lot more in innovation and a lot more discoveries and innovations are interlinked with each other. Then, how, then that's how you have a television and the cameras, high definition cameras and a lot more things out of it. The secure and protect. This is also for the IT students, how to secure and protect the data protect the communication out of it, protect the any type of work that's stored in the digital form. How can you do that? Okay, so these are the key points for that, for the purpose the innovation happened in the past. To construct and to heal and treat. This is the next. Okay, so in the earlier, in the past era, we construct, uh, we try to heal with the, you heard of a, drugs in the Hindi uh, word, you can say jadi booty. So, so in the earlier state, we use the jadi booty things uh, to heal people, to heal the human life. But nowadays we need to have a medicine, advanced drugs, and that helps us to heal any person much faster than ever. Now next, biggest invention and discoveries. If I get any chance, as I told you many times, I ask you what are the biggest inventions and discoveries? Why it is important? Because any innovation or any innovator cannot do innovation until he has any form, any kind of discoveries in the earlier stage. You can have anything in your mind. Just try to find out how it is happened. As I started in, in my case as a trimmer, I started with a trimmer to explain you example, how it started. I can go beyond the motor. I can go beyond the first motor. And then you have lot more discoveries. Then after that discoveries, you have that particular motor, which is known as an innovation. So without innovation, so without any discoveries, earlier discoveries, you cannot have an innovation. So you have to have discoveries and invention before that you can make an innovation. Because first motor comes when you have a knowledge about electricity then you have knowledge about magnetism. Then you have electromagnetism, magnetism. then you have magnetic fields, electric fields. These are the discoveries. Discoveries of Newton, discoveries of atoms, protons, electrons. Until you have these discoveries, you cannot make a motor, cannot. So after all these discoveries, then you up, then after you can make the motor, first motor, which is called as innovation. So for any innovation, you need to have what? Lot more discovery. So discoveries are an important aspect of an innovation. Okay. So you can either discover something or innovate, but without discovery, you cannot innovate. But sometime it happens in past. How? These are the little examples that give you a little hint about what and how these inventions or discoveries happened without even knowing it. So first thing is wheel. First thing is wheel. You all know that. No one is known to be an innovator or discoverer of this wheel. There is no name in the humankind that's known to be us as a innovator of or invention or discoverer of this particular wheel. No one, there is no name. You cannot find any name. Why? Because it happens accidentally. 
there is no particular purpose of it but after we know and find the application it there is lot more purpose purpose of it but before that this is just a accidental case and humans in stone age find that accident and use it in his or their purposes so this is the accident without knowing have any any discoveries with before that but this is also been known as you cannot justify how it is happened but it's happened okay there is no name now later on pi what is pi pi you all know that what is pi pi is invention or discovery i want to as in this case wheel how can you justify what is wheel wheel is a invention wheel is a discovery or wheel is the innovation i just need all of you to comment i don't want to tell you i will answer you on the youtube only so just comment what is wheel wheel is a innovation wheel is a discovery or wheel is a invention what it is and why what it is and why same all of the things i'm i'm going to uh, present you in this particular side you have to mention why it is and why and please give your answer don't search it okay you have your mind you can search it but don't search it because you have a bigger network than thousands of earth world wide web what i mean that if you collect thousand earth with the present world wide web internet and combine it you have much more bigger network in your brain so don't come and don't search in the internet you know lot more than internet so don't search just whatever comes into your mind give me a comment on the youtube so after that pi commented what is pi discovery invention innovation after that zero comes what it is how it is tell me then time these are the most primary and most fundamental things that happened in the past then bulb after that lens this is the advanced version of lens but before that lens come in the later slide i'll give you the first lens higgs boson you all maybe you all have heard that what is higgs boson okay so these slides have these particular key points or keywords you have to comment mention any time on the youtube comment box and tell me what they are okay and why okay now come to the next slide i just want you what it is i just want you to ask what it is maybe any of you heard of it many any of you saw in the internet or saw in any movie or something try to give you one minute and give uh, this a little brief view you saw that in this figure there is a fire in beneath it and there is a bowl in above it and the bowl have water and above it there is a spear that has a levers kind of a levers which have a steam into it so you can guess right now what it is this is a first ancient steam turbine first ancient steam uh, turbine that discovered in 1577 i said discovered there is a difference okay so it's called eolipi uh, eoli pile it's called eoli pile okay this is a first ancient steam turbine and that is a innovation by the way that is a innovation now next any guesses what it is this is a numbered lens you can say numbered nimbrad lens this is the first lens that's been used in 1608 ad 
okay so this is its timeline and this is the first lens that's been used by human to magnify things to see things beyond our eye that is also a innovation because there is a novel concept concept into it now next is any cases for what it is anyone you can uh, you cannot talk to me but you can easily what type okay you can type into it comment box this is a kind of a calendar this is the kind of calendar which is called as scotland calendar and that's built on stone age by britons this is built by stone age by britons why because they observed the moon how moons are changing its shape because we know that moon does not change its shape exactly but that's how it, we looked at it that's how we looked at it. and we make a holes in the ground as you can see in the figure we made a holes in the ground as we visualize the moon and according to that particular moon we match the holes and whichever type the holes match with the current version of the moon we can say we are existing in this particular time of the year so this is a also a breakthrough in the making the calendar okay what it is this is a roman concrete this is a first concrete this is a first concrete that human are uh, came up with this is also a invention of materials by humans to make such things that are the fundamental of modern constructions later on this is a second century bce any guesses what it is i already discussed the calendar so this is not a calendar there's lot more discussions been held in the past just to decipher what it is just try to think and try to find out what it is let me just tell you it is a mechanism or you can say it is a first computer by any human kind this is a computer lot more studies that happened in the past and they decipher it is a kind of a mechanism to to try to calculate something to analyze something try to measure something it is the first computer okay so the exact the timeline of this is exactly a lot more beyond that you are thinking around the 10000 and 12000 year before okay maybe uh, most of you saw that this is kind of a battery this is a first battery in the human history that's made in the egyptian in the baghdad which is called baghdad battery this is a first battery made by egyptian okay we have no names into it we don't have any names in all, in all these discoveries and inventions but they are there they happened in the past next is 1600 year old jade which is known as lircas gups cup lircas cup this cup has a innovation of nanotechnology you cannot believe it but it has a concept of nanotechnology because the material used in that cup is work on the heat whenever this cup contact with the heat this cup transform into a red light it transfer the red light through it means if you pour hot water into it this cup glow as a red light out of it and how that happen because they know the concept of nano material somehow we don't know how but they know somehow the concept of nano material and they coated the nano material on the surface of the cup and whenever they pour the hot water into it the cup glows in the red light okay 
So this is also an innovation. And last one is just try to find out what it is. This particular innovation this, uh, made in the 132 AD. Lot more before you think in the past. This is a Hu Fang Di Zhong Ye. Okay. It's ka jo, the main name of this particular uh, invention is uh, Hu Fang Di Zhong Ye, the ancient earthquake detector. Okay. This is an ancient earthquake detector. This is a novel innovation in the ministry. Okay. So after that, these are all the, the innovation discoveries and inventions that happened in the past without any name. They are exist and we discovered in, in our human era. Now, after that, there are, there are few people you should know for their invention or inno innovations because they are, they are known to be exist as a prime leaders of the innovation, innovations in the human society. So I, I want to ask one of you or every one of you to guess the names. Who is it? No, let me tell you, he is a Kilun. He's known to be Kilun and he discovered, or you can say he innovated the compass. He discovered the gunpowder. He innovated the paper making machine and printing machine. Next, guess who, who they are? Maybe many of you may uh, guess it. They are Wright brothers. And I need not have to tell you what they did. You already know that. They made the plane. They made the first plane. They innovated the first plane by combining the little mechanical mechanism and what? The motor. Okay, and the mechanic, mechanical mechanism and motor, they also have their past of innovation and discoveries, but they combine both of it in such a way so they can make a little more uh, novelty in it, uh, which is a plane. Who is it? Thomas Edison. You all don't know how that, what, what Thomas Edison did for us. He did make a telegraph, historical, phonograph, First chemical, practical, it can uh, electrical light bulb, and alkali stories of battery and ketonograph. All these uh, innovations done by Thomas Edison. Who is it? He is a Leonardo da Vinci, the prime innovator of humankind. Prime, because he made in his uh, notebook he made the bicycle. He gave the concept of bicycle. He gave the concept of the aeroplane, first aeroplane. He gave the concept lot more before than Wright Brothers. Helicopter, machine gun, and parachute. He already gave all of the concept, novel concept in his notebook. Madam Curie, you all are all heard of it. Madam Curie uh, discovered and uh, worked on the radioactivity and uh, discovering the element polynum. And after that, we have Galileo Galilei. He innovated the telescope, first telescope with the use of lenses. And after that, Rosalind Franklin is a lady and discovered and innovated the X-ray photograph. And X-ray photograph is a prime innovation in the humankind because with the help of this X-ray photo uh, photograph, we can study the biological changes on which is a prime concern to study for the research of medical facilities, medical purposes. So until that X-ray photograph not immersed in the human history, we cannot go through the advanced research in the medical. Okay, so these are the prime innovators. These all are the prime innovators in human history. Okay. Now, how to be an innovator? That is one important part for you. How you can be an innovator? what you have to do to be an innovator. First thing, observe things in nature or everything that you surrounded with, observe carefully and thoroughly. Observe it. 
you cannot and any book any internet any con any person cannot tell you how to be observed thoroughly it's your capacity of mind how deep you can, you can go to observe things in nature or anything surrounded with you anything any highest technological version that uh, that you are surrounded with one sec okay so i think i have uh, uh, need to a little go through them. so observe thoroughly see through things anything you need anything you start with see through it what it is how it is made how it is happened how this come through be an, into an existence next speculate nature you have to find what is it in nature and trying to find out how it has happened how how it can be helpful for us higher curiosity you need to have a higher curiosity to find new things collection on information until you can cannot collect the information you cannot make any knowledge or information or concept you need to have to collect information study and analyze after collection of information you need to analyze it in such a pattern so that it can help you application or applicability for human you make after the concept making you have to make through a leads to a applicability for the human how it is applicable for human next is practical approach practical approach how it is practically applicable in the human existence and implementation our last is implemented how you can implement it. next is then what to do with, with the innovation so we need to have a idea and after that a question arises how to uh, this innovation get to the our purpose fulfill our purpose to fulfill our purpose we need to have a proper execution in such a way we can make profit out out of it okay so make a profit as as in first slide there is a trimmer when the whale invented and innovated the trimmer after that he make a started the business and after this business helps him to grow its own entity and become a entrepreneur okay so how he is making profit out of it with this with this innovation so after that it comes to our mind entrepreneurship so what it is entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is a kind of a starting of a business so anyhow most of the entrepreneurs comes after they have innovated something okay so most of the innovators are came into existence after they innovated something but you can can be a entrepreneur without any innovation okay now entrepreneur so normal people and us as a innovator we all have this particular array of uh, as a innovator to be a entrepreneur if you lead to this particular chart or or network you can find how this novelty starting from the idea from the patent to copyright entrepreneur and thus how innovator comes to entrepreneur and entrepreneur starting a business and after starting a business how he can make a profit out of it so these are the points who has the innovated idea with the help of invent something after he patent the innovation or copyright the material find the practical application of the invention and how the production and manufacturing can be happen then starting up company or enterprise after that hierarchical organization organization to execute work in every step of, of, of it that's how entrepreneur is work after he has been a innovator innovator and entrepreneur there is a little connection between first you have idea then think about it and make it in a process experiment experiment it after the experiment happened then you need to be a innovator and when you invent something you become a innovator and when you innovate something first go through the patent or copyright there is a lot more difference between them go through the patent or copyright that's the second step after that make starting a company or starting a production and after production you can be a entrepreneur so there is a connection between innovator and entrepreneur and these two things connected with the patent copyright and production or starting our business 
until you have that you cannot any innovator cannot be an entrepreneur but any innovator has to be a entrepreneur so this this is is whole uh, purpose for human society now tools for you tools for you as a student for the innovation first explore the academic journals news proceedings article newsletter go through all this and find what is the problem of human society conceptualize uh, the idea you have the uh, generate the concept out of it how i can help it explore the physical and virtually go through the uh, uh, physically and explore the virtually what is the problem how, how i can uh, cons uh, make a concept of it use a sketch up with your hand with the board in your copy or in the software make a sketch how this concept can work in you can use the autocad 2d or 3d make a prototype a 3d version of it how this looks how your invention looks after that use softwares proe solidworks matlab python all these are languages and simulation softwares that help you to find out whether your in prototype work or not okay analyze simulate process verify execute perform calculate all these are comes out of it how you can test it so use the simulation softwares and verify the concept and verify your testings of a prototype whether it's working virtually or not make a prototype make a, a, a solid prototype and test it by yourself or in the professional in the lab test the prototype and what are the challenges these are i'm just uh, compiling the work compiling the ppt what are the challenges for you as a it student i can discuss all of it but as a it student what are the challenges for you new security threats this is the first challenge for it students how you can tackle it think about it data production how you can make data so secure that anyone cannot break it skill gap there is a vast skill gap in the it sector if you somehow get to that you have a enormous opportunity for you and no one can stop you because the world is changing and world is filling with the junk of data and that data is that much enormous you can go this galaxy to the another another galaxy if you line up all the data there's a lot, lot more data is existing and day by day is adding up multi cloud security you need to uh, improve this multi cloud security innovation and digital transformation this is also also be needed and was uh, more important for you to uh, make uh, any improvement innovation and invention in, in it finding new renewable streams in it sector lack of agility there is a lot, lot more agility in the it sector you have to tackle it and how you can manage to tackle it outsourcing this there is lot more outsourcing this in the it sector virtually and physically both business research in it sectors everything is depends on the business how it is deals with the uh, data deals with the uh, services and all of these have uh, leads to your business research until this give you a result better result this it uh, uh, sector will not help until you improve it how this it sector improve its own business there is uh, also a business. and last one is tools for digital native workforce okay so all these 10 are the challenges for all of the it students which needs to be a little brainstorming so i also make this for cs students so in the youtube all you can go through all this uh, points these are the challenges for cs students for it students for me students for civil students so all these are the major sectors points scopes areas where you need to have a proper innovation invention and discoveries you need to have and last 
few words and i'm ending it innovation is the hope of betterment and innovators are the leaders of humanity entrepreneurs are the need of economy which leads ones to grow beyond their imagination and these two quotes are as myself these are copyrighted okay so these are my quotes if you like it you can use it by my permission if you think so so this is all this is all for my side thank you uh thank you roy sir thank you as such a very wonderful and informative session so now i request to dr sanjay pachauri sir please say few words about icc iic sir sanjay sir uh, dr sanjay pachauri sir thank you madam thank you sir uh, very first i would like to thanks mr rohit to provide their valuable and very precious and the heavily costly time during this pandemic Uh, for the benefitment of our uh, students as well as the faculty members, uh, as well as I would like to give my sincere thanks to Dr. Mahin Sharma, HOD IT, to arrange this kind of informative sessions for my students. With uh, Mr. Sanjay Kumar Gupta ji, who is also there in our session. other than all of these i would like to thank another diamond of the it department mr rajni singh to conduct this beautiful session more over the all of these things but actually the iic is as uh, mr rajni uh, advised me to say few words regarding the iic actually iic is nothing iic is simple a very straight forward phenomena which is started by government of india through the new education policy so what to ever is there in the new education policy who is going to monitor all of these things so to monitor all of the new education policy implementation part two bodies are concerned aria that is actual ranking and the iic so to take care of all of these okay, what the quality is going through and what is going on the ground level in this current scenario when this global pandemic is there and the new education policy is there and we have to sustain ourselves as local for vocal and the self sustainable as for the prime minister when he has told so many times in the public forum we are doing the same thing in our current set we have developed so many technologies few technologies are very new very new technology and few are economically sustainable like if you are going to market you purchase a new LED tube light of the 20 volt 20 volt you have to pay approximately 200 to 250 bucks but we are in the condition to provide that particular 20 watt is like in the cost of 25 this 50 percent of the tax this is a very this is actually our ic in this way our ic is on the other hand we are also working for new technology like Organizers or the new machine building sort of uh, driverless car, so many. This is the IC cell, stand for the IC cell of IC function. By these words, I would like to hand over the mic for the guys to be speaking. Thank you, sir. Now I request to Dr. Sanjay, uh, Sanjay, sir, please. Uh, say word of thanks okay. on behalf of imt college of engineering greater noida i sanjay gupta take this opportunity to propose a word of thanks to those who directly and indirectly 
contributed to this mentorship session on innovators and students entrepreneurs in 2021. Organized by the IT department at the outset, I thank our director, Dr. Gaurav Sinha sir, IIC president, Dr. Sanjay Pajori sir, HOD IT department, Dr. Mahen Sarma sir, and resource person, Mr. Rohit Maurya. We are enlightened with your knowledgeable mentorship session which tells us about the latest trend and technology and helps us continue learning and gaining knowledge during the pandemic time. A special thanks to all faculty members for their unflinching support and coordination. Our heartfelt thanks to our students for active participation. With these warm rewards and kind of messages, we move to the end of today's mentorship session. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am.